This week, I received a comment asking how to find out if their Samsung smartphone is using an Exynos or a Snapdragon chipset. Since I have done a number of videos that require you to know what chip is being used in your phone, I thought it would be a good idea to highlight a free application that can show you that information. This application will show you the details for the most common SOCs on the market, but it may have trouble giving you information about the newer or more obscure chips. And I have an example of this that I can show you later on in this video. So the free application that I'm talking about is available in the Google Play Store, and you can find it by searching for the name CPU-Z. I'll even give, include a direct link in the video description below for those who want a quick way to get to the application page. There are many other applications that offer this type of functionality, but CPU-Z is widely known in the PC market, so it's a program that you may likely already be familiar with. Once you have downloaded this application, go ahead and open it up and you should see the brand of your system on a chip right on the front page. You can see here, this Samsung Galaxy S22 that I have has been imported from Hong Kong, so it uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset. Now I also have a Galaxy S21 Ultra that has been imported from Panama, and it uses the Samsung Exynos chipset. So if you have a Samsung smartphone or tablet, and you are curious if you can unlock the bootloader, then the first thing you should know is whether or not it uses the Exynos or Snapdragon SoC. There are some Snapdragon variants that do support an unlocked bootloader, but you'll need to import them from a limited number of countries for it to support that function. Now I told you that sometimes this application will not give you the exact details of the chipset brand. This can happen because of a number of different reasons, including the brand being new or it being so obscure that the developers have been unable to update the application to reflect this information. I have the Google Pixel 7 Pro here, and it uses the Google Tensor G2 SoC. This chip is so new that the developers have not been able to update the application to correctly identify the brand. We still get the details of the actual CPU core types that are being used here on this tab, but we aren't able to see the fancy Google Tensor branding like we did for the other two chips. I hope this video helps some of you who are not familiar with all of the hardware being used in your smartphone or tablet. Whether you just don't follow the specs used for all of the devices out there, or maybe you got the device secondhand from eBay or maybe a friend or family member, the free application CPU-Z should help you identify all of the hardware being used inside your smartphone or tablet. 